giant reverse wheelbarrow hands at the side of your back platform knees on the carriage you're in a kneeling push-up position i want you to press your palms powerfully away from the platform to activate your lats your triceps your rear shoulders and you're squeezing your glutes too to protect your lower back so you're slowly hinging backwards big inhale through your nose then big powerful exhale out through your mouth as you use your upper body, your upper abs, and your lower abs to pull yourself in. So big inhale through your nose, going backwards, big exhale, open up your mouth, squeeze your abs as hard as you can, keep it going. You can either bring your forearms on your back platform or your hands are grasping the edge of the back platform. You're on your toes, modification, you're on the knees, and with a neutral spine, you are slowly piking your hips up towards the ceiling. And then with the strength of your core, you're slowly lowering your hips back down to that plank. So now you are working off the back of the machine. You are working against the negative tension. So this is pure string training back here. So you're using the strength of your core to pick up that negative tension, and then you're slowly resisting that negative tension, and that is how you tear your core muscle fibers. As you're lowering your hips down, I really want you to exhale, squeeze your abs to fight against the tension. So squeeze the abs in and resist. Kneeling crunch left side. Your hands are gripping the sides of your back platform or you're down on your forearms. Left knee on the carriage and your right knee is stacked directly on top. Big inhale through your nose, rounding your spine, scooping your tailbone in, tucking your chin to your chest. Then open your mouth, big exhale, resist the tension. Feel your left oblique resisting and slowing down the carriage. We are bringing that mind-muscle connection to our obliques here so that when you get to the scrambled eggs, you're really going to be feeling both obliques lighting up. Press your palms or forearms away. Get those lats activated. Giant reverse cobra. So hands are at the very front of the back platform, knees on the carriage. And with your elbows rotated inward, I want you to slowly hinge from your shoulders first as the carriage starts to go backwards. And you're going to slowly be dropping your elbows down towards the back platform. And right as you're one inch above the platform, I want you to come right back up using the power of your hips and your core muscles. So you start at the top. With the palms gripping the edge of the platform, you're going to hinge from your shoulders, drop the elbows, and right as you want to collapse down into the platform, I want you to squeeze your abs, take a big exhale, and come right back up onto your palms. If this is too intense, just keep it a smaller range of motion with your upper body. And remember that priority here is to feel the engagement in your core, to feel the glutes activating as well. And you're feeling those triceps working here major as well. Kneeling side crunch. Hands are either gripping the back platform or your drop down on your forearms. Your right knee is on the carriage and your left knee is stacked on top. So in this exercise, you're curving your spine and crunching your knees at the same time, bringing the carriage towards the back platform. Then you're slowly resisting the negative tension. Your hips are dropping and your legs are extending out. Big inhale through your nose, rounding your spine, tucking your chin into your chest. Big exhale, pulling your abs in and slowly resisting the negative tension. Feel that right oblique. Prepping for scrambled eggs.
scrambled eggs. Make sure your blocks are at the sides of your carriage. I want your hands on the blocks, shoulders stacked on top of your wrist. I want your right knee on top of the platform and that strap on your left foot. So you're going to be slowly lowering down your left leg down towards the floor. Then your deep core muscles are slowly picking the carriage and the left leg right back up. So your shoulders and your hips should be creating a rectangle. I also want you to be leaning towards your left side because it's really easy in this exercise for you to want to sag in your right hip joint. So I also want you to think about as well that your right hip is stacked on top of your right knee the entire time. If the hips are more in front of the knee, you're going to feel this in your wrist, but with the hip right on top of the knee, you're going to really feel your lower abs firing. This is an anti-rotational exercise. So the strap and the carriage are going to try to mess with the alignment of your hips and your shoulders, but you're trying with all of your might, all of your 360 core activation to resist the strap that's trying to pull your foot down. So big inhale through your nose as you lower your left leg down towards the floor. Then open your mouth, big exhale, squeeze your abs in, pull your belly button into the spine. The breathing is crucial here to find the deepest core activation possible. Relax your facial muscles and also relax your upper traps. This is all about the entire core firing. rip cord. So I want you to stabilize with your left palm and then I want you to use your right arm. You're reaching your right arm out as far as you can and extending your left leg at the same time. So big inhale through your nose, reaching out as far as you can with the right hand, reaching out as far as you can with your left toe and coming back to center. This exercise helps improve your core stability. It encourages a neutral spine and it's also going to relieve any low back pain that you might have. This exercise uses the whole body to target and strengthen your core, hips, and also back muscles. Frog kicks. I want you to put more of your weight into your right palm and keep your left hand a little bit more light. Open up your left hip, create an L shape with your left leg, and I want you to imagine that you're breaking through a wall with all four corners of your left foot. Imagine there is a wall behind you and you're using your core, your glutes, and your hamstring strength to break through this wall. So big inhale through your nose as your left knee comes closer to your left elbow and really load your abs, squeeze your abs and imagine you're smashing through that wall and then resisting that tension. So that carriage is trying to pull you in again, right? I want you to think about your left booty and hamstrings slowing down the carriage as your left knee is coming back in. I want you to think of this frog kicks as your exercise as a sideline lunge. So it's such an amazing way to connect your core to your glute and your hamstring to fire all as one muscle. Kneeling torso twist. So you're going to be taking the strap now into your hands and you're going to be kneeling at the side of the back platform. So you're going to be rounding your arms just like you'd be holding a beach ball. And then you're inhaling as you're going to the right and you're exhaling out through your mouth, pressurizing your abs in as you turn towards the left. So in this exercise, make sure that you are twisting at the middle of your body and you're not using your upper traps to help you turn and twist. Your gaze is also following your heart. So make sure that you're not pulling the cable in and out and keeping your head still. Your head and your torso are all moving as a unit. So big inhale as you're twisting to the right. Big exhale out through your mouth, pulling your belly button into the spine as you twist to the left. Twisting is so important for the health of our cores as well. Keep your hips as stable as you can, and you're just taking this rotation at the trunk. <laughs> 